Hi everyone, my name is Electric Donkey and today we're back on the RTS project for the second time in one week because the last time was very unproductive and didn't really get anything done. In fact, um, it turned out to be very counterproductive. So I had a look into the code and what was going wrong exactly and pretty much all of it was going wrong to the point where I've actually got rid of the scripts. Um, it is still there but I've commented it out um, and I'll go through what the changes I've made are leading up to that. So they're not going to be coding in this video, um, but I'm going to be showing you what I've changed. So first of all, we don't need these two, we can get rid of those. Turned out they were not the problem whatsoever. Um, we can also get rid of the scripts a bit here. Another thing I've done that's very minor is I've changed these from var, like that, that used to be, to just being normal variables. Um, we can also get rid of that script, because they're entirely useless. Um, so this bit is pretty much looking the same and um, the only thing is the vars there. Now this is where it gets um, really, really um, different because I've actually moved all the code from the script pretty much into the object basic unit. The reason for this was that I noticed um, in the other one what we've done is we've used a for loop to try and loop through and try and move like that. The problem with for loops is it does it all pretty much within one step. Um, so it pretty much makes the movement instant anyway. Uh, the way to get around this is to have a step event which runs it and that runs one time every step. So once every step rather than everything in one step. So what I've done is I made a create event and then put some basic variables in here. So you've got the nx and the ny and also speed. I've, all, I've set uh, these wrong, <laughs> these are meant to be that way around. Um, that's just so that you don't start off uh, somewhere weird. You start off where you placed it using the tile center. So you can set them to that. You can set the speed to whatever you want, but three works pretty well in my opinion. Okay, on to the next bit, the step event. The step event is mainly copied over from the um, script. So you could just um, copy it straight over, but I think I probably will be including a download link um, with this video but um, I'll go through what's happening here. So effectively we've set the new X and the new Y here um, and what this is is where we're aiming to get to. So then in here you can see we've got if X does not equal NX so if we're not at our destination yet oops, um, then this is checking whether it's positive or negative that's the same from copy over before if it's positive it's doing this stuff um, this is different this is quite um, considerably different this bit here is the same and this bit's the same but I'm going to talk through what's happening so if it is positive we then move on to the next check if x plus speed is more than nx now this is important because it, basically what this is asking is are we within distance to do a full speed because speed is 3 remember um, because we're dealing with isometric tiles, uh, there's some x-coordinates that we're trying to reach that are 0.5, for example. Adding 3 is not going to get us to that, and then 4 it's going to keep going. And it gets a little glitchy, because it keeps trying to add, and then subtract, and then adds and subtracts until it can't do it, can never reach it uh, effectively. So what this does is it checks if it can't reach it by adding speed, then it's going to just set it. So if it's less than 3 away, it's just going to set it and that looks smooth, it doesn't change anything because we're moving less than we would normally. This is then exactly the same, we're just adding speed if it's positive and this is the same but repeated um, the other way around for if it's negative. Uh, it basically then also repeats for the NY, it, it's pretty similar, um, if not identical. This is also copied off the script and this is copied off the script but ever so slightly edited. I think that's pretty much everything in terms of what this looks like. We will be including a download link, um, but let me just show you how it actually looks when you run it. In my opinion, it's quite smooth, um, it's quite neat. So you click on the tile, you got the movement like that. And uh, over a large distance, it looks pretty smooth, I'd say. The only slight problem is if you're going, say, there, it will tend to go quite quickly and then slow down um, that's just to do with the movement and stuff and that, for some reason if you're moving diagonally you tend to move quicker 
But you can see there the movement is relatively smooth um, and it seems to work quite well. And that is mainly copied off the script, but majority is here. This is what causes all the magic stuff to happen. Also, as it's within the object basic unit, we can probably include more units in the future and still have it working. In fact, let's um, that we'll, we'll do that in the next video. We'll test that in the next one. Um, but yeah, this is just a little update to show you what we should have done in the last video. Um, so if you like this video, like, subscribe, always do what you guys want to do, and I will talk to you in the next one.